This video demonstrates the demand and capacity planning workflow. This workflow is used whenever you receive some change demands from your business and you need to translate it into something tangible in your organization. The workflow consists of three and a half roles, the demand manager, the capacity manager, someone in the business, and the half role is the requester who will initiate the workflow. I will take you through the, some of the first stages uh, by the demand manager, just to show you how easy this is to work with. Let's see how it works in reality. Being the requester, I will select a new workflow and browse through the portfolio of workflows available and I will select the capacity planning sample. Let's say that we need some new test environments. And why? Yes, the business requirements. And that is actually sufficient to initiate the, this workflow. So we will just submit and hand over this request to the demand manager. The next stage, as we can see here, is the stage called no demands. And uh, we, as a requester, do not have uh, anything more we can do about the request, but we will have to wait to see what happens. But being the demand manager, I've just received this request. And as there is a blue pencil in the right bottom corner of this workflow, I am able to dive into the request and see what lies in it. I'm asked to collect all material concerning the business requirements. So here I may write some more regarding business requirements. It is this field is called the same as the one above, but this field is for the demand manager. So let's say that the business needs an A test and a is test environment. Knowing that we may just save this form. And now I'm still in the stage no demands, but I'm now able to proceed to the next stage, forecast new demand, which is also being taken care of by the demand manager. So we will proceed to the next stage, forecast new demand. And we simply will have to enter something in the demand forecast. So let's say that require an increase of 2% capacity overall. Knowing that, we might save it into our form. And now, having done that, we are able to move to the next stage, which is called assumptions and risks which is also being taken care of by the demand manager. Assumptions and risk. Do we know any risks? Yeah. Maybe there is a risk in delays in supply. And we will save that piece of information. Now we are able to 
move to the last step at the demand manager finalize forecast and if everything is as we would expect before handing this over to the business we can just press this button consider forecast and as we can see finalize forecast is the current stage the demand manager is in charge of that but when we press this button it will be handed over to the business being the business we will press myspace and the blue pencil tells us that we are allowed to enter this request and as we can see in the left pane we have some choices we don't actually need to document anything we just have to decide being the business whether this is okay to continue <coughs> with or to close if we need to forecast the demand once again we might send it back to the demand manager by pressing forecast new demand or we can hand it over to the capacity manager who will translate these requirements into something more tangible so why not just do so and as we can see now the next stage is the translate translate to requirements taken care of by the capacity manager so let's jump over to the role of the capacity manager who will look into his or her space and having the blue pencil in the lower right corner we are now able to dive into the form and we can now proceed with the tangible information that we need to calculate this required capacity so this is a short walkthrough the demand and capacity planning workflow